Okay, let's just settle <clears throat> into a nice, comfortable, seated posture. And for, <clears throat> I think most of us have us sitting on a chair. If you're not sitting on a chair, um, you're sitting with your legs crossed. Try and have your knees raised uh, by cushions. Shoulders are aligned with the hips. And imagine your spine is a string of pearls of light stretching from the base all the way up through the crown of the head and beyond, putting some space in between those vertebrae. And just breathe and, and settle as we start to move inwards. Bring your awareness to the crown of the head and relax the scalp, and the forehead, the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, the mouth, the, <clears throat> the jaw, the back of the tongue, back of the head, the neck and allow your shoulders and shoulder blades to drop down, relax the throat, the chest and the belly and all of your limbs. even your fingers and toes just remember your alignment particularly the head try not to have the head sort of sticking out too far we are already constantly looking down at our phones so as much as you can your ears align with the shoulders Notice the sensation of the air as you're inhaling and exhaling. Be aware if there are any sounds in your environment, so just allow those to be there. And then notice the thoughts that are arising in your mind. And we just try and have some level of awareness, you know, uh, about what's there. Our days are so busy and they're just full of, I've got to do this and I've got to do that and it's really good to take a step back, put some space in between your thoughts. And just allow the mind to relax. And just with a more objective mind, just look at what's going on. And sometimes if you have a very intense emotion, if you just pull that out and examine it, Get a feel for it. 
you know, is it is it sharp? What color is it? What does it look like? What does it feel like? If you start looking, 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 it might disappear. But we need to give ourselves space in order to do things like that. So you're looking objectively, or you can be curious. And be kind to your heart when you find something that's not comfortable. And then bring to mind all the people of your life. So start with your loved ones. And then really see their faces. And then your strangers. They're probably blurry faces. You don't know them. They're just people inside a car maybe. And then the ones you don't like so much. You don't trust at all. And this is where we find often our true teachers in these people we don't like. Because they're the ones that show us where our aversion is. And the ones we love don't really. And these people, they can all change it place at any time, this friend, this enemy, this stranger. This is how impermanent our life is. And they're all equal in their wish to be happy. They wish to be free from suffering and having this extraordinary capacity for Buddhahood. So bring to mind this medicine Buddha practice is this morning primarily for our precious Mummy Max, who is currently transitioning and it seems to be very, very, very peacefully. She has beautiful support around her. She has the support of the monks at Kopan and all the people who knew her when they were younger. So it feels, it's a very beautiful time to be a part of this. She's showing us how one can die. So imagine Medicine Buddha is a few inches above the crown of your head. So now <clears throat> we can bring Mummy Max here with us so you can imagine Perhaps she's sitting with you, next to you, with the medicine Buddha above her head as well. Or if you want, you can just imagine her where she is right now, you know, with the medicine Buddha above the crown of her head. Not on top of her, uh, above her crown. So if she's lying down. And you can imagine he's sitting on a moon disc and this is resting in the center of an open lotus, his legs are crossed in the full vajra or full lotus position. He's facing the same way as you. And his body is made of this beautiful royal blue light, the color of sapphire. So it's, it's crystal, it's illuminating light, it's made of light, it's transparent. And there's movement there. It's not static, it's not fixed. And, and his right hand is resting on his right knee. So the, the back of his right hand is resting on his right knee. The fingers are sort of down. And he's in the gesture of granting sublime realizations. And he's holding the stem of an aurora plant between his thumb and his first finger. And his left hand is in his lap in the gesture of concentration, so there's, you know, uh, in that mudra for meditation, 
So resting in the palm is a bowl um, made of sapphire light. And this is full of, you know, um, nectar, nectar for healing all of our delusions and our illnesses and our um, psychological issues. <clears throat> and he's uh, wearing the three saffron robes of a monk and has all the signs and marks of a fully enlightened Buddha. And his face is peaceful and smiling and he's looking at all living beings in the universe uh, equally with compassion and kindness. So happy to see you're here. So just as we're trying to get a sense of this Buddha above the crown of our head, um, really feel his presence there. Understanding that he is the embodiment of all the enlightened beings, their extraordinary qualities. And really try and feel this kind of peace, compassion, kindness emanating. It's almost like you have this precious jewel above the crown of your head. Also remembering this is the mind of your teacher manifesting in this form for your benefit. So it immediately makes it much more personal for you. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma and the Supreme Assembly. By my practice of giving in other perfections, may I become a Buddha to benefit all sentient beings. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma and the Supreme Assembly. By my practice of giving in other perfections, may I become a Buddha to benefit all sentient beings. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma and the Supreme Assembly. By my practice of giving in other perfections, may I become a Buddha to benefit all sentient beings. May all sentient beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. May all sentient beings be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May all sentient beings be inseparable from the happiness that is free from suffering. May all sentient beings abide in equanimity, free from attachment and anger that holds some close and others distant. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, medicine guru, king of sapphire light, I prostrate, go for refuge and make offerings. May your vow to benefit sentient beings now ripen for myself and others. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, medicine guru, king of sapphire light, I prostrate, go for refuge and make offerings. May your vow to benefit sentient beings now ripen for myself and others. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, medicine guru, king of sapphire light, I prostrate, go for refuge and make offerings. May your vow to benefit sentient beings now ripen for myself and others. So you can imagine infinite rays of radiant white light flowing down from the heart and the body of the Medicine Buddha. And this light fills your body and purifies all disease and afflictions, as well as the cause of these problems, your negative karma, delusions, mental obscurations. And, and imagine they're all flowing and leave your body in the form of thick black liquid like engine oil and they disappear into space. It doesn't pollute anything anywhere. It doesn't come back. And your body is clean and clear as crystal. And you can also imagine that all other beings are being purified in the same way. <clears throat> and the same thing for our precious Mummy Max. Om Taya Tao Om Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Soham Taya Tao Om Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Soham Taya Tao Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha Bekanze, Bekanze, Raja Samangate Soham, Taya Tao, Bekanze, Bekanze, 
Mahabekanze Bekanze Raja Samunga Chesuhan Taya Tau Bekanze Bekanze Mahabekanze Bekanze Raja Samunga Chesuhan Taya Tau Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samunga Tesoha Taya Tau Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samanga Te Soha. Now imagine the light flowing from the Medicine Buddha, filling your body again. This time it brings all the realizations of the path to enlightenment, all the qualities of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. And you can imagine that the same happens to all other beings. And just really feel that you and all the other beings have actually received all of these excellent qualities and that you've received the blessings and the inspiration of the Medicine Buddha as we recite the mantra again. <clears throat> <clears throat> Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha Bekanze, Bekanze, Raja Samanga Te Soha, Taya Tau, Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha Bekanze, Bekanze, Raja Samanga Te Soha, Taya Tau, Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha Bekanze, Bekanze, Raja Samanga Te Soha, Taya Tau, Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha Bekanze, Bekanze, Raja Samanga Te Soha, 
receive those qualities so like a gift you really try and feel inspired by that And now imagine Medicine Buddha melting into light, just kind of dissolving into light, this blue light. And this absorbs into your heart. And your mind becomes one with the enlightened mind of all the Buddhas. And we'll recite the mantra again as you imagine this is happening. Oh, tired, tired, beckons, eh, beckons, eh, more beckons, eh, beckons, eh, 
So let your mind rest for a moment in this state that is completely clear and peaceful and free from your usual busy thoughts and conceptions. And just remember that that is your true nature. Make everybody just relax. Come back or stay in meditation if you wish. And let's just dedicate all the positive energy we've created in doing this meditation to all those people of our life, especially to our precious mummy Max, who's right now in, a, in transitioning, and to yourselves as you're moving along your spiritual path. All right, thank you so much for hosting, Mary. Lots of love, everybody, and I will see some of you this evening. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs>